And here at home, the team that Las Vegas shooting victim Tina Frost once played on honors her and the other victims with a moment of silence. Tonight, an outpouring of love for one of their own as she fights for her life. Tina Frost was shot in the eye. She'll never be the same again, according to family members. That's right. Ten years ago, she would have been playing in the soccer game against Old Mill High School tonight. ABC 2 News' Brendan McNamara joins us there live now with how current players came together tonight to pay tribute. Brendan? Well, Jamie and Kelly, it's been an emotional couple of days for parents and families across the county as word has spread about what has happened to Tina. They say they felt like something needed to be done at this game today as they work through this tragedy together. Small world. I mean, you know, you think all the millions of people in this country and, you know, um, yeah, and one of one of our own. It was an away game for the Arundel High Wildcats, but Old Mill players, coaches and families made it feel like home. Please join me in observing a moment of silence in honor of Tina Frost, a 2008 Arundel graduate and a four-year member of the varsity soccer team who was severely injured in the Las Vegas mass shootings on Sunday night. Please keep Tina, her family and friends, as well as all other victims and our first responders involved in this terrible tragedy in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. The moment of silence touched me a lot. It was just respectful. Arundel players wore Tina's name and number on their wrists while carrying her burden in their hearts. The family's been in, in, involved with Arundel soccer in one way or another since the 90s, and I just think it shows a lot of respect for the family and a lot of support. James Joyner's daughter is on the team now. He can't help but put himself in the shoes of the Frost family. I can't even comprehend it, you know, to go through what a parent must go through knowing that your child has suffered such a horrific injury. I, I, you know, all my thoughts are with them. I just, I can't fathom how they even exist. A young life punished for listening to music and two communities realizing that it could have been them. I just think that it's scaring the younger ones. Um, like, I told myself that I'm not going to any outdoor concerts ever again. For me personally, it just makes me second guess going anywhere anymore you know at any at any moment you know you can be enjoying yourself and they can just turn on a dime and the frost were not here they are in las vegas where tina is being treated in the icu according to them she's unable to breathe on her own she's still in a coma and she has lost her right eye as well they also say that it could be a long time before they're able to determine how much brain damage she sustained in that attack in las vegas in Millersville, Brendan McNamara, ABC2 News.